everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft and thank you for watching today's tutorial. This week's hobby base card, I'm going to be showing you how to make this floating um, slide and pop or slide and stand card. So it's on acetate, which you can see there. And it's got a lovely little sen um, sentiment, happy birthday at the bottom there. And then this one says, um, leave a little sparkle wherever you go and it's using the Hobby Base Butterfly dies this week and the Paradise Crush papers from First Edition and then on the back I've just put another same size die cut, rectangle die cut so you can write your message and then basically what happens was, is, is <laughs> this is how it stands up and then you slide it up like so and it will go in your envelope so I made one of these last year and I will um, if I can link in or if not just follow my um, um, head on over to my YouTube um, this may well end up going up on YouTube as well um, but it does fit in because I measured this one and this is a seven and a half by six card so there you go it fits in there nicely so it's all perfect to post but the recipient will obviously receive it and I've just bent that one so I need to be a bit more careful when I put it in there you go it's fine We'll receive it like this and they will know, I mean they'll look at it and they'll, be, and they'll probably put it down like this and it will start to just fall down and as it does it just pushes into place and you have this really really lovely card and I think these are great and it's a bit floppy and wobbly but it does stand up. This is a strong acetate, you need a strong acetate, don't have um, the, the really loose kind of stuff. Actually this is from packaging, I always say all the packaging that my die cuts, um, any stamps come in because that's really solid. Um, strong acetate so I just clean it up and yeah it's perfect but when you look at it this profile looking on it is completely clear and those butterflies and that sentiment does look like it's floating so it's a really lovely card so let's crack on and make it so we're going to be using all of this here and I'm going to make exactly the same because I love it so much um, so this is the die the hobby base die and I've gone ahead and cut them all out and um, you don't need to watch me die cut them and I've used these on many many hobby base um, tutorials and that is the butterflies so really nice so you need four of them or to be honest as, as many or as few as you want and you might not be using butterflies anyway this is the paper pack so that is the paradise crush um, again, I've raved about this one. It's really lovely and I've made some really beautiful cards using this pack. The ones I'm using today are these here and it's the textured ones at the very beginning. So these have got a feel, like a fabric feel to them. So again, there's a real kind of, um, or oh, what's the word? Um, lots of texture and just quality feel to the card. So it's really nice. Then I've just got some little embellishments and things to decorate. I've already done my stamp. Um, I've heat embossed my sentiment there. And this is a Dovecraft um, sentiment. Most of this, if, if not all of it, is still available on the Hobby Base page. Um, so head on over to their um, website. Okay, so scoring along the 11 inch side. So it's an 11 by 6 piece of cardstock. Scoring along the 11, you want to score at 1 inch, 2 and 3 quarters, three and three quarters, five and a half, seven and a quarter, eight and a quarter, and 10. Okay, so straightforward there. And I'm just gonna get rid of the scoreboard. And then what we wanna do is you're gonna need a cutting knife and a metal ruler. And first of all, you just wanna mark, um, I've got my pencil, at one inch. So in this central five and a half inch line here the one right in the middle pop it the other way and you want to come in along that five and a half inch score line at one inch and just put a little pencil mark you can rub it out um, after and put one there as well so you just bring that up there you can just see one there and one there okay then you want to cut now what i would do if you can is try and cut to each side of the score line so you'll have like a couple of millimeter um, strip that you'll create it just helps with um, if you've got things like this here that creates extra bulk so by just creating a, a slightly larger rather than just cutting it and leaving it if you just cut almost a piece out of it it will actually help the overall um, look for the card and you'll be able to add a little bit more so I'm popping this to the left hand side of the score line and from that one inch mark to the other 
watching your fingers, you just want to cut straight down. So if I just bring that up, you can see the score line here, I've cut to the left hand side of it. So now I'm going to cut here to the right hand side and that will give me a nice little strip um, in the middle. So again, just all the way along like so. So you can see now I can pull this piece up here, oh, just in the middle. You can see the width there, it's a couple of millimetres and that's that score line removed. And then I'm not going to use my um, ruler now, but just on that pencil mark, just kind of detach that piece that we've just cut. And it's easier to just kind of poke it with the very end of your knife rather than go in and try and cut the whole thing and it'll give you a neater finish. There we go. So you can see now I've taken out a very, very small, like I said, it's a couple of millimetres, um, but you can just cut it, but then I, you wouldn't really be able to put anything else on that acetate. You wouldn't be able to put a sentiment on there. You just have to leave it all clear and just maybe keep the sentiment down here. Um, so that's that. Then I'm just going to rub out that pencil, like so. Okay, so now we can go along and burnish all of those score lines. So every single, oh, excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Every single one, you just want to score along, like so. Flip it over, and basically these two here, these one inch outer pieces are gonna stick together like so, and then you get that effect. They're gonna stick and stay in like that. Okay, and then that's going to squeeze up and create that pop-up effect. So first of all, it doesn't matter which one you start with, I'm going to use this one here and just grab some double-sided tape and run it along the bottom. I'll tell you one thing I forgot to tell you what you need, and that's the size of your acetate. Totally forgot that bit. It's the, probably the, the main part of the card, so it's fine. We'll go through that in a second. So just remove this backing. Again on that one. There we go. So your acetate, it's because I couldn't see it, so I've got mine here. And like I said, it's strong. It's a really, really tough piece of acetate. So this measures four by six. So well, it's slightly just under four. It's three and seven eighths, actually. Let me just cut my slit. Yeah, I mean, four would probably fit in that. Yeah, just. But I go for three and seven eighths because that's obviously what it is. So what you want to do is the very bottom of your, it's hard for me to show you this, the, the thin, the shortest side of your acetate, so mine is here, is going to stick down here, but you need to thread it through this bit first, okay? So you can just see it coming out the other side. So pop it in there and then line it up with the very bottom of this piece here. Okay, and you've got to make sure it's straight, otherwise it won't slide up and down properly. Okay, so I've stuck it on this. So that shortest side of your acetate is lining up with the bottom piece here, and it's already gone through there. Okay, now you want to put tape over that acetate. So then this one, fold it right over, and just fold the whole card in half, and it will perfectly line up and sit on top. Okay, so now when we push that down, we've got a pop up, but we need to work it a bit. So you just need to just kind of push the two together there for a bit. There we go. So you can see now, and that's how it works. So when you squeeze it up, it slides up to the acetate and that goes in the envelope. Now also when it's completely flattened like that, that is the only area you have to stick anything 3D. So the butterflies, for example, because once it gets past, if it does, if it, say you've got something and it's there, it's going to stop it going completely flat and you wouldn't be able to put it in an envelope. Okay. But it also means that the sentiment that I'm putting on, because we're going to layer this on that side and that side, it's going to create bulk. But because we've removed that few millimetres here, it will allow it to slide through. So that's now all done. So just lie it kind of flat down like so and we can decorate it. So I've got here four strips. 
So I've got two that are five and three quarters by one and a half, and then two that are three quarters of an inch again by five and three quarters. So you've got two that are going to go on each of the sides and then two that are going to go on the very tops. So I've already put my tape on them. Okay, so that is now all of those sides covered and it also just makes your, starts to make your stand much stronger and it will obviously hold itself there. So now let me just get rid of all of this rubbish. We need to pop on our sentiment. So I've got like I said, two of them, because one is for the back, which is going to have where you can write your message. So take off all of my backing again. And it's, it's entirely up to you where you want it to go. Um, I just bring this one in here. From when it's kind of all in its place, in its position, this is, my sentiment is one and a half inches up. So I'm going to... I'm going to hold this one over like so. Again, make sure it's nice and even on each side of your acetate there. It's really hard for you to see because it's obviously see-through. And then the other one. And that just tidies it up, but also is practical because you can obviously use it for your message. Like so. And it's easy to fill out. You just lie it flat and you can go ahead and write on that. So that's that piece. Then I've got my happy birthday, which I'd already peeled off and then remembered that I'm filming this. So that is going to go with a nice little frame, like so. And then I've got some embellishments here. So I'm going to pop, because after all, the sentiment says leave a little sparkle. So I want lots of bling. I forgot to say as well, I added Wink Stella on the butterflies so they sparkle as well. Although I haven't done these ones yet, but that was another thing I added. Okay, so now we will have the top. I'll bring that in there. I'm wondering whether you can see the acetate a bit better there. So now I'm just going to decorate my butterflies. So this time I'm going to have, because I've got the two blue at the top and then the pinks here. So this time, just to make it a little bit different, I'm going to have two pink ones like so, a blue one there and then the blue one down here. So what I've done, um, or I did do but not on that one, is, um, let me just grab the end of here, is put a tiny little bit of red tape just on the back of the body of the butterfly so that then you can lift up the wings and just take off the tiniest piece, trying to take off the backing. And there we go. So just bend in the wings a little bit there. And then I'm going to pop this right on the kind of the corner there of the acetate, bearing in mind that when it lies down completely flat, it needs to measure no more than seven and a half. Um, no, that was wrong because it's got to be when it's closed. Sorry, that way. So now you can see that slides up. When it's closed like that, it can't be any more than seven and a half. So mine's seven and a quarter at the moment, so that's fine, okay? So just keep that in mind. So actually keep it flat like that and then you know where you can. Um, I mean, if you go any bigger, you're just gonna have to make a bigger envelope, that's all. So it's not the end of the world, but if you can use your envelope punch board um, and make it, then that's good. And then this one here is gonna go in the middle like so. And then I've got this other one here, which is going to, oh, that one I've just bent him slightly. He's gonna be, he's on the on the side piece. That's where he's actually stuck on the side piece um, without going over too much because you need him to obviously sit down. And then I've got one of these just for some more bling. And that's gonna go right up here and you can see it doesn't obstruct the closure. I caught it a little bit on that one, um, but it was fine, it still did make it. So now you can see there that there's nothing obstructing that card, but when you open and close it, you have this gorgeous card. 
and I just think it's so lovely and again when that's sat on the mantle we bring them both in here and they kind of just move around like that as well with the butterflies on they look really really lovely but you do need a strong acetate okay so if it's anything very flimsy it will not work so as soon as you start putting weight it's just going to start kind of I mean it won't bend all over but it will certainly kind of be more like that so just bear that in mind and have a look but yeah they function really really well just slides completely closed and like I said on your envelope punch board they are the six by seven and a half card size okay so it's on the third column and it's telling you that you need a piece of ten and three quarters by ten and three quarters paper and your first score line is at four and seven eighths of an inch there is a tutorial showing you how to use this as well on my Facebook um, on my YouTube channel so check that out um, but there there you have it two really fun floating slide and stand or slide and pop cards and I hope you enjoyed them so I hope you've liked this week's hobby base card um, and yeah tune in again next week for more thanks for watching bye